Good morning, everybody. It is Thirsty Thursday. Don't forget to water your plants. I'm in Marathon at this amazing hotel, the Air Resort, the Banana Tree, or Banana Bay Resort. Um, I just had to move my car because they were working on coconuts. <laughs> I have never had to move my car because they were trimming the coconut trees. <laughs> Love that. And they were giggling, and they were, like, making room so I could back out and all that. I'm Caddy Wampus Park, but oh well. I'm within the white lines. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they just want to get to work. So I'm in Love Language Minute 3 3 2022. Dealing with emotional hot spots is our title. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Ephesians 4, verse 2. All of us have emotional hot spots. When our spouse says or does certain things, we get defensive. Usually, our response is rooted in our history. You may find that often your spouse is echoing statements made by your parents that hurt or embarrassed you. The fact that you get defensive indicates that the hurt has never healed. The next time you get defensive, ask yourself why. Chances are you have a flood of memories. Share these past experiences with your spouse, and he or she will develop greater understanding. What if you are the spouse? Once you learn why your husband or wife gets defensive in a certain area, then you can decide how to move on. You might ask, how would you like me to talk about this issue in the future? How would you like, or I don't want to hurt you. How could I say it in a way that would not be harmful to you? Now you are on the road to diffusing the defensive behavior of your spouse. You're always following scripture by being patient and making allowances for your spouse's struggles. As Paul encourages in Ephesians 4 2, learning to negotiate the hot spots of life is a big part of developing a growing marriage. Lord Jesus, please help me to uncover why I get so defensive about certain things and give me the wisdom to change my reaction. I know I also need to extend special patience and grace to my spouse when he or she becomes defensive. Help us to avoid each other's hot spots rather than triggering them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, that's really good advice, don't you think? So, um, and it's, it's great advice to learn for single people that are looking for relationships. I love that little book just for that purpose. It makes you learn about behaviors, etc. Something that I learned when I, in my accounting practice constantly. So, you know... It all starts with one thing, and this little book is a great little tool to use. So, go in peace, serve the Lord, spread love and kindness everywhere like glitter. See you later. Bye. Love you.